만주벌판 어디쯤에서 제국열차를 타고 그 지도를 다시 빼앗아오면 그것으로 끝일세. Hey folks, it's Jim from the Amy Wine here to review the South Korean Western film The Good, The Bad, The Weird. In a desert wilderness of 1930s Manchuria, invaded by the Japanese army, the bad Park Chang Lee, a ruthless bandit and hitman, is hired to acquire a treasure map from a Japanese official traveling by train. Before you can get it, however, the weird Yun Tang Gu, a klutzy and goofy thief with an interesting past, steals the map and is caught up in the bad story element of the train. The good Park Don Wu, an eagle-eyed noble bounty hunter, appears on the scene to claim the bounty on the bad. Meanwhile, the weird escapes, eluding his good and bad pursuers. A third force, a group of Manchurian bandits, also want the map to sell to the ghost market. One can't also forget the Japanese army themselves, also interested in retrieving the map. So basically, the film amounts up to a race to a treasure, but it's a glorious fun one. <laughs> Many will chalk the good, the bad, the weird as merely an homage to Sergio Leone's films, particularly the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I don't think director Kim Jong Woo would deny that. Sure, it's derivative. But the way I see it, we have been borrowing influences from other countries for years, and vice versa. That doesn't stop the film from being thoroughly entertaining and exciting. It's a bit thin on plot, and it's not particularly deep, but I think you'll find the film is too infectious not to enjoy. The simplistic story allows us to get to one exciting set piece after the next, with added bits of humor for good measure. The film orchestrates breathtaking moments with real creativity and impressive stunts. One scene that really stands out involves the bad and his gang, the good, the Manchurian bandits, and the Japanese army chasing the weird, Yun Tang Gu. The camera work is kinetic and lively, and the performances are just right. We have seen these kind of archetypes before, but they feel a bit fresh in the context of this film, given the new setting with Korean characteristics. While it's mostly by the numbers, even Kim Jin Woon manages to take one or two unexpected directions. Kim Ji's first American film, The Last Stand, wasn't an impressive debut. The story was lacking, but there were one or two moments where his expertise shined through. Hopefully, the lack of success for the film won't discourage him, and he will give it a second shot. I was so thoroughly impressed with his handling of this material with this film that I look forward to taking a look at his other work as well. From its opening train raid to its final gunslinging showdown between its three main characters, The Good, The Bad, The Weird is a film that will leave you smiling for its clear love of cinema. That's it for the movie wine. Have a good day, folks. Until next time. <laughs>